diamond in a rough here with a quick, quick, quick DIY on modifying your own gel. Now I like setting gels and I like uh, edge control gels as much as the next girl, but I don't like how thick they are. I don't like the stiffness of it. So what I do is modify my gel, which started off as this, and we'll talk about this in a bit, into this with just a few simple products. Now I'm gonna show you some of what I use in mine but I want you to really take this and make your own diamonds. You can make this to have a scent if you want. You can make it unscented. You can add as many additives as you want. You just have to be a little careful over how much you add. Little bits are better than whole bunches of stuff. So I'll try to lay this out as best I can. And again, this is what we're going to end up with. But I'm going to show you the process. Now, you know these jars from how they look like. Uh, typically, we know a brand by its cap. For example, or Organic Root Stimulator, their cap, ORS, their containers are green. The top is. Design Essentials, they're black. What I do is modify them to make them my own setting gel, if you went, or edge control, because again, I like this, but it's too much. So what we're gonna do is try to step through the process as best I can. I'll try to answer as many questions beforehand by trying to take my time, and I'll show you my additives that are lined up on the side of the uh, screen here. Uh, it's not everything, but it's some of what I use. I'm gonna use edge control of choice. I'm gonna use glycerin. Let me find my bottle, because I got stuff scattered off camera. You know, anything you can get. I use the one at Walmart. That one's okay for me. I'm going to use a bit of my own Ayurvedic oil. This is my 2X, and it looked janky because it is, but believe me, this is a powerhouse. You can see by the color. I got a little bit of white behind it, so you can see what color that is. I'm also going to use uh, Makula oil. The Ordinary brand is the most simple one that you can get. Um, I think I can get it to where it won't... Um, be uh, blurry for you because I can't, I'm only one person here and I can't manipulate this bottle and manipulate the camera and talk at the same time. I can't bubble gum, chew bubble gum and walk and walk water at the same time. The Ordinary is what I use. I'm gonna use a big of um, vitamin E 4000 I use. I'm gonna use a little bit of sweet almond oil. And these are 100%. So look, when you look at labels of things, Look for that oil being the first or second at the minimum of what you're buying. I like Strivectin, MD, Vitamin C, um, Brightening Serum. I just put a little bit of this in because I like the Vitamin C and I don't have liquid Vitamin C. I use a little bit of a preservative. This one is Optifin Plus. I bounce between suppliers. If you Google Optifin Plus, it's a broad spectrum um, Preservative, anti-mold, bacteria, and uh, fungus, I do believe. Mold, bacteria, and fungus. Several people have these. And I'm also going to use a gel of choice. I like Urban Hydration, but you can use um, the ORS brand. You can use uh, the Sleek Shine one. I mean, there are all kind of them out there on the market. Pick one that you like that you use already. Use what you got. I'm also going to try to put, and I won't put any coffee oil in it. I'm not going to mess with that. And I have um, a little bit of distilled water that I'm going to use. When I distill water, I put it in a clean, sterile pot. I let it boil for three minutes, let it cool, then bottle it in a preserved, or rather a, a sanitized bottle. And I keep this for my formulations. You do not want to use straight tap water. It's got too much going on in that. So here we go. Um, I'm going to switch out this jar. I'll switch out this one because I don't need it. I'm going to put that on my scale, cut it on. I always get a good scale that you can tear out to zero. Find your uh, meth oh, excuse me, your unit of choice. Let me switch that back. There's ounces. That one is milliliters for liquids. 
G is for grams, and that's what you want. You want something that you can measure your item with. Now, all of my tools have been sterilized. Now, you'll notice I've cut this into sections. I used a, a clean, sterilized cake cutter mold, or rather stamp, that divides cakes so I know how much roughly each section is. I'm going to take one, maybe two sections. I'm going to put that on the scale and see what we get. I'm going to use the second spoon. And the stuff is really thick. This is why I don't like it. It seems to pull my edges out when I was using it. That's 6.5 uh, grams. I'm going to take another wedge of it. And I'm sorry I couldn't do this live, but I got to get my subscription base up. They won't let me do a live unless I got a thousand subscribers and I don't have that yet, but I'm marching my way toward it. And I thank you all highly for participating in the journey with me. So we're done with this. I'm going to put it away. Save your jars, your small jars. You can wash them, clean them, sterilize them with 91 alcohol, and then use them for your preparations because it's a jar already there. I'm going to set that there for the time being. This one I'm going to use. I'll just set it on top. Uh oh, wait a minute. I think I messed up. I'm going to set it on top there and get it out the way. Next, I'm going to add in uh, my Styler Gel of choice. I showed you my uh, Urban Hydration one, and for that one, I'm going to tear out. I'm using half of that. That's 14 and a half. You can even say that's 15 if you want. Tear it out to start at zero, and I'm going to get another spoon, and I'm going to add a gel. Let's see what we got there. That's 10. I'm just going to finish out this jar, and even this jar, when I'm done with it, I am going to save it for uh, handmade lotions or uh, when I'm doing a uh, Ayurvedic preparation or doing a, um, that's 16, I'm going to live with that. 16 of those, I'm going to set that aside because I'm going to use the spoon again. Um, I'm going to add, let's say of the ordinary oil. I don't have a lot of this left in the jar. I'm going to tear it out again. And I'm going to add, oh... Let's see what I got left in here. That may not even be a gram. Let me finish the bottle and see what I got. One gram. I'm going to live with that too. Finish the last bit of drops in there. My hand's in the way. I'm sorry. So I'm going to pay for a videographer one day. But anyway, I'm going to finish using a jar of that. Now, this jar, when I'm done with it, because it has a nice dropper to it, I'm going to put my Ayurvedic oil in. I'm going to uh, clean the label off with some um, Goo Gone or something like that. And I'm going to fill this with probably my Ayurvedic oil. Then I can use some and have some in my bathroom at my bedside table rather than pulling out my whole big giant jar. And while we're talking about it, let's look at what we got in here. Now, this is a double infusion that I've created with the usual suspects. Um, fenugreek. Um, neem, moringa, calendula, uh, what else is in here? I think I have nine herbs in here. Um, the cassia obovada, which is a neutral, um, oh, I can't remember. It's a neutral kind of, uh, uh preparation. One can dye your hair. Um, the other, the neutral one will not die and I've just lost the name. I'll run it at the bottom or put it in the contents and information for folks that want to use that or follow and make their own Ayurvedic preparation. But there's things that you can put in here that will give your hair the potency that it needs. I might have a quick picture here. Um, oh, I can tell you what's in it. I found my page. I have Shebe in here. I have saw palmetto, horsetail, fenugreek, safflower oil, and a little bit of mustard seed oil, a little um, dot of cocum butter, kupachu butter, mango butter, and BTMS, but just a little bit of that in there. So that's in there. Let me cut that back on because it cut off and it's back at zero. The oil I'm going to put in, um, if I can get it open, because I have issues with arthritis if those who know me know I have problems with mobility. See, that's what I needed. Uh, whenever you're using things up from one bottle into another, use a pipette. These are wonderful to use. 
I'm going to soak some up and see how much I got. Um, I want to put in, let's see, since I'm not going to put another or too many oils in here, I'm going to try putting a gram of that in. Let's see what that does for me. That's, there's two grams right there. I'm just going to finish that out. Once you use a pipette, you don't use it a second time. You toss it, you get rid of it. Okay? Don't use it a second time. Let me set that aside. Next, I think I want to add um, a little bit of glycerin. I'm going to tear it out again. Uh, since I used two grams of my Ayurvedic oil, I'm going to use also maybe two grams of my glycerin as well. If you're allergic to glycerin, maybe you can switch it out and use um, uh, aloe vera gel, whatever you're not, whatever you're comfortable with. Use something. This just helps the mixability of it. You use vegetable glycerin for example in cooking to smooth out an icing things of that sort so I have two grams of that in that's done um, I want to put a little vitamin E in tear that out or maybe one gram of vitamin E and again since I'm using a full bottle or a whole bottle I'm not going to try to glump this in because my hand is not that steady I'm going to use a pipette and hopefully this is one gram going in. I'm trying to watch the scale as I can. And again, once you pull it into the pipette, you do not add it to your bottle again. You Whatever's in there, you find somewhere else to dump it. Don't pour it back in, okay? Keep this as sterile as possible. Once you're done with it, I'd either push them to the side or put them away. Um, preservative is next. Optifan, as I mentioned, even though there's no water in this, or it's a little bit, there will be a little water in it. Um, it's anhydrogenous, and I probably have butchered the name, but an oil based solution. Even though there's water in my gel, I'm going to put a preservative in here because chances are your hands might be damp. Um, again, Google Optifan Plus. It is pricey, but it will last you a long time. Um, I went to another supplier, and I've also got it in this kind of formulation. This is a lotion crafter. I bounce between lotion crafter and ingredients to die for. I love both of their websites because they have plenty of stuff from which to choose from. And again, a clean pipette. In the bottle it goes. I'm going to try to get a gram of this in. So you don't need that much because it's usually 3%. And since I haven't been keeping track of what I all put in, I am going to uh, put this aside before I spill it, tear it out, and let's see if I can get maybe half a gram. I don't think this can go to half a gram, so I'm going to put about 10 drops in. Don't need a lot, but you can always do the math and do 3% or so of your formulations. Lastly, I'm going to add, with I think I have another pipette here, I do believe. I'm going to add some distilled water. I'm going to try to start with three grams and see what that does. Oh, put it back on the scale. Pay attention, Deborah. And this is just to help me mix it. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't tear out properly. I'm sorry. I'm on gram still. Yep. And it's not an exact science because I'm not selling this to anyone. I'm not selling this to anyone at all. I think I need some more water. Two and a half. I'll live with that. So once I've done that, capped up everything. Make sure everything is capped up once you're done with it. Oh, my vitamin C. I'm just going to put like five drops in. Because I want the nutrient properties. One, two, three. That was four, five. I'm going to do six. For good measure. Now usually if you're pulling something out of a bottle and you haven't touched anything else with it, I can put it back in the bottle it came from because I haven't really done anything with it. But a pipette, anything going into it, always grab a new pipette. So with that, I'm going to turn my scale off because I'm done. And I should have probably melted this because you can melt this, I believe, in the microwave. And I might have to go off camera and melt this too just to get it to break down like I want it to. Sometimes you have to add a little heat to something to get it to do what it's supposed to do. But what you're going to do with this, and a bigger bowl helps too, you're going to break this down and you're going to start stirring. 
Now I might have to run melt it and put it on defrost to break down to break down um, this uh, gel. And it's starting to turn, but again, to break these lumps up, and that's the goal, you want to get this to be melted as possible. So I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to grab my microwave and put it in for 10 seconds at 50% power because I don't want to challenge the properties of the oil I've put in or the Optifin, which only can go to 100 degrees because it's usually something you add at the last minute of your preparations. Optifin you put in at 100 degrees or less. No more than 110. No more than 110 because you'll destroy it and it's like you added nothing. Um, you can also add as an additive before I step off for a minute, sweet almond oil if you want that. Sometimes I'll put a calendula oil in for something that's extra soothing to the scalp. Depends on what you're going. So let me pause the camera. And I think it will let me, it might not let me go. Because I think once I push the button, it's going to be a wrap. So we're going to try this. But yeah, I do this because I don't like the hardness and stickiness of those gels. I think it was pulling my edges out. I stopped using the gel straight out and I started using this formulation and I'm really happy with it. I also stopped using hair ties. If I do use a hair tie, I stretch it out to where it has no real super spring in it and I always soak them in oil before I use them because they will snatch your hair out too. And don't wear those buns too tight either. Pull them. You can even use a piece of stocking that you've cut little rec long rectangles out of and make your own hair ties if you want. Have them color match to your hair. You know, hells come in a zillion different colors. And I may have to put it in my style gel jar in order to really get the mixing that I want with it. And think I may have to do that. Let me just pull everything out that I had sitting over here. This is what was left in my gel jar. I think I'm going to just toss these. And I think I'm going to pour this in so I can get a good stir with this. Because this is all going to gel up. And what you'll do with this once it is mixed up, you will let this sit. I am out the way, Anna. You'll let this uh, sit overnight because you'll see little flecks of gel still in here. And that's okay because they will smooth out once they sit in here overnight. I think I've got everything out the jar. So now we're going to see. I'm going to try to work this. It's, kind of, it's coming together. It's coming together. Whoop, whoop. I'm not one to always keep. I think, again, this is my use and my stuff. So if you see a hair or two, God forgive, because it's my stuff and I'm not selling this. This is just to make it easier for me to use a preparation. And it's okay to mix stuff and make it work for you. Let me get into the camera a little bit so you can see what's going on. This is in real time. I didn't have to go to my microwave, thank goodness. Didn't have to go to the microwave. Let me take a look at it and see what's going on. Starting to get there. But all these lumps that you see, let me get under the lamp here. These lumps you see, you're going to break down, and they will break down. If you want to make it perfumed, you'll put an essential oil in it at this point. Sometimes I find with so many other things having a scent to them, I don't put a scent in everything. And again, this is in real time. So the people at, at Design Essentials or either Organic, organic Root Stimulator, hey, fix your formula, fix your, fa fix your face, as your grandmother would say. Fix your face and get it right. Fix it to where we can use this stuff. Because I just don't like the stiff preparation of it. And this is the other spoon. I think I used to scoop off the extra gel. I don't want to make this too long to where you can't have it be beneficial for you, but hopefully I'll have this uploaded today. I'm going to set that in my jar because I'm going to use that. So 
but I think it's coming together. Give me a thumbs up. Knowledge is free. I basically gave you, I'm giving away the jewels to the, to the queendom and the kingdom. Anybody make money off this? This is y'all knowing that, uh, this is y'all knowing that, uh, they heard it here from Diamond in the Rough. Okay. Let me kind of get myself in camera so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just stirring, stirring, stirring. Because I don't have a close-up way to do this. Let's see what it looks like. Kind of close, but use that spoon to mash up the sides of the gel against the sides of the jar. And all this will break down because what you're going to do is let this sit overnight and then stir it again tomorrow. So let's see what we got. Put my jar back front and center. Hold that. And this is going to stiffen up too. This will stiffen up. Let me get you back in camera. I hope you can see it. Let me set it up on the steel, make it a little easier. Let me scrape the rest of this out of here and try to stir it in the jar. As long as you have a way to stir it and not make too much of a mess, that's okay. Scoop the rest of this out. Now, there's stuff in here on the edges. Again, don't waste any of your product. You can see some lumps of it there. But again, save your jars. Use some goof off to take the labels off of your existing jars. I think I got most of it out. We're going to see what we're going. We're going to see if we can make it do. There's a little bit left, but you can still see some of the lumps in here. Let's see what we got going here. It's a little runny, but again, this is going to set up. Once all these lumps come together, once they kind of come together and get in here to do what they need to do, just keep mashing and working it around. And this works with any edge control that you got. You can use any uh, edge control and any gel that you like. And I've ran through all of them. Kiss, whatever that the beauty shop. Or the beauty supply place. Kiss is one. ORS is one. Talia Wahid has one. As I Am has one. There's all kind of gel things out there. And it will take on a color a little bit of the gel that you use. For the one that you saw in the sample at the beginning of the segment. Those were done, I think, with uh, ORS. I think they were done with uh, their clear one. They have a gel, I believe, an edge control. So I'll try to do an add-in once this is done. Uh, the next day, because it's going to smooth out. And these little dots that you see in here, I don't know if you can see them too much. You may be able to. But my light might not let you see that. But you see some in the jar. This is These will all melt out and the bubbles you see will settle down. And it will be your edge control. Like I'm left handed, but it's not right up under me. To where I can really get the work on this the way I want to. Like I mentioned, if you're going to do this at home. Heat your gel up first a little bit on your microwave under defrost so that you can 
so that you can um, get the smoothest what you want. It will mix in quicker. It's just like if you're cooking and you're using uh, cream cheese in a recipe. It does better when it's soft already. So that's what's going on here. It does better when it's soft. So I've got my Optifan in here. You can add more oils in here if you want. Don't add too much oil because it's going to make it too runny. You want to keep the integrity of it. If you think you need more gel, if it comes out a little too runny, but again, these it's going to take me a minute to work these out. So I'm going to go back to my other one. I'm going to set this down, go back to the one that's in my jar. Let me find my, get myself my hands together here. And it's going to come out as smooth as this. Uh, I'm just going to, I, this is again my gel, my way, my stuff. And this is how, this is how creamy it's going to be. Absolutely like what you see here is what it's going to be. And it goes on just like it works as an edge control is going to work. You can kind of see, let me get yourself in camera because I messed up. You can see that wiggle, you still got that wiggle. And even on my finger here, you can see where it, it's still stiff, but it's softer. It's a softer cream. So cap that up. Stay off the edges as much you can. Once you got it sealed up, just spank it hard on a, on a hard surface to drop everything to the bottom and off the sides. Same with this. You can see it's starting to thicken up a little bit from where we started, but those small pieces, once they break down and they've come in contact with the water and come in contact with the uh, gel that you've used, all of this is going to gel up. I can still see pieces of it. I can feel pieces of it in the mix. But that's it. Um, Soften and make that gel and make it yours. Keep your edges because them edges is the babies trying to live their best life. And you don't have to do an S curl and a swoop on those edges. But what you want to try to do is, again, keep the hair that you do got. Now you can go and play with this um, as best you want to. But all these little pieces that you see in here will break down. And the off yellow color comes again from the gel that I use. I use Urban Hydration that had a little color to it. Um, let me think if I got any more in here. I think that's all I got. But I have one more secret surprise to show everyone because I know you all have been asking and Deborah has been in the Funk Lab working all through COVID trying to get some stuff together. I'm waiting on one item more to come to my home so that I can be ready. But I'm going to show you a sneak peek. Uh, and I want to thank also as I'm working and wrapping and cleaning up here, I want to thank Twist and Shout for giving me that shout out and that come up. I so appreciate it. I so appreciate her attention to paying attention to what little old me is doing. But, oh, wrong cap. And sometimes you can see universal sizes for these caps too. Even though this is uh, Urban Hydration and it belongs to Design Essentials, organic, organic Root Stimulator caps work on here too. So this is the one that's already, already done. I'm just going to set it aside. And one thing I do make sure, I want to make sure to tell you to do, when you got something else in here that is something different, Take the cap off so you won't get confused about where your stuff is. Take the cap off and switch out and use the one that you know you need to use with regard to your base product. Now, this one I'll just keep. I may try to use it. I don't know. I like the product, but again, I don't like how stiff it is. And I, I'm just being honest. I, I don't like if I buy it, I'm going to buy it to spank up a little bit into what I need it to be. So this is my new formulation of how you can take an ordinary regular smegular edge control and turn it into 
the cream that you need it to be. Now you can see it's starting to get thick a little bit. It's not as watery and it's going to thicken up overnight. And I usually don't make no more than two segments of it because I like to make it fresh too. Just put that cap on it, let it sit, and let it mind its own business. Now, for the sneak peek, many of you have asked me for uh, bits and pieces and ideas on either the Glover's Mange information or either for the pine tar information or either on Sulfur 8. I thank you for that. So what I've been doing with my little time at COVID, I have been working on my own formulation of my own formulation of uh, Sulfur 8. And this formula, 810, it uses Sulfur 8, but I've amped it up. This is the brand I'm going to do it under, which is, let me get my light right. I think it'll show. I hope it will. Diamond Creations, which is my new branding for this product. Um, I think you'll like it, but again, it's not quite ready to go public yet. You, my list of ingredients of stuff is on the back, so I don't know if you want to try. Don't screenshot it, because that's hopefully too small for you to see what's in there. But it is written there in a legible nine-point type, so you can read it and see it. But it is my answer to us needing something that's got that mingle. Basically, this is the tingle in a formulated situation. And this will be let loose as soon as my other product comes to finish off the look. This is not the final look of this. This is research and development. And when I announce it, it will be available only for a limited supply. This is 56 grams, which is two ounces. They sent me the wrong jar. Uh, Amazon I'm okay with, but I didn't want this jar. They sent me the wrong one. I use it anyway because the Lord knows when I would get it back. So this is Formula 810 in a glass jar, Diamond Creations. This is Diamond in the Rough signing off. And I thank you all. I thank you. I thank you for your time and your attention. Hit me up in the comment box. Tell me what you think. Thanks a lot. Shine bright, Diamonds. Shine bright.